In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use Bubble to display a list of data. For those that don't know what Bubble is, Bubble is probably the most complex no-code tool. And when I say the most complex, it's the no-code tool that allows you to create the most complex applications. It's free to try and free to use. You do have to pay as you scale up. Let's log in and get started. So when you log in, you'll be met with your dashboard of projects or your dashboard of apps. I'm going to click on new app. I'm going to name this grid list tutorial. You can name yours whatever you want. You just have to fill in some of these details. And we're going to create a new app. So we have a new application assistant that pops up. We actually want to start with a blank page. And then we want to close the application assistant. So now we have our blank page where I like to do or where I like to start is I like to start with the data. So we're going to jump to the data tab and you're presented with this, with these options to add data. As you can see that you have custom user types, you have a user where you have email, modified date, creation date, slug, and you can also add new fields to the user. We're going to create a new data type to store movies and we're going to name this movies. So here we have a type called movies, but we need a new field because we want to actually store the title of the movie. And this is going to be the data we're going to display in our UI. So we're going to create a new field. We're going to call it title. And we're going to give it a type called text. There's other types, but you just have to say what type of data you're working with. And that is setting the foundation for our movie collection. What we actually want to do is go to app data and we want to go to all movies and we want to give it a couple entries for now. So we're going to give it Superman We're going to give it Batman and we're going to give it Spider-Man. So we have three movies in our database now. Now we're going to head over to the UI builder and design. And anytime you want to display a list, you have to use the repeating group. So we're just going to drag this we have our repeating group and you can see one issue and it flags this issue for the type of content. What we do need to do is tell this is movies. Then we need to do a search for movies. Next, we need to actually display the text. It doesn't just pull in the text. You have to create the elements inside the list container to actually display certain elements. So we have our text here. And right now, all you can see is edit me, but what you can see is it's copying it into each row. We're going to change this. We're going to remove this and insert dynamic data. And we're going to do current cells movies. And it gives you some options from the properties, creator, slug, but we want title. Next, we are going to add some style to our text. I'm just gonna center it so it looks a little bit better. And that's it. You can add more style to your, your list container, such as if we go down the style right here, 
background style, maybe we add a flat color and maybe we change this color to a creamy color. You can add border style, so maybe we add a solid border style. So this is not the most attractive, but I think you get the point. Next, the last thing we want to do is preview our list container or our list. So we're going to click preview. And as you can see, we have Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, and we're now displaying the data in our table. To actually add and remove data is another process where we actually have to get into workflows and logic, which is beyond the scope of this particular video. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on social media or just put the questions in the comment section. Happy hacking.